name is Madison and I love science. Today I went to the California Science Center. It was so cool. When I went in there and saw the space shuttle, I just went like, wow. I met an astrophysicist and her name is Tabas. Nice to meet all of you guys. Welcome to the Science Center. Yeah. Endeavor is only one of five space shuttles in the world. Endeavor is the baby of the fleet. It's actually the youngest of all of the spacecraft that we have. What? Yes. <laughs> so there were five total that were flown and one that was used for testing. So you'll notice the two wings on the side. Um, and you'll notice it has a vertical tail. It has a tail. It's called the vertical stabilizer. And just like an airplane, the wings and the vertical stabilizer help it while it's in flight and when it's coming down for landing. So it kind of glides back to the surface of the earth like an airplane, you know? It's almost like a bird. It is. It is almost like a bird, exactly. And just like a bird, it uses these, the tail and the wings, to stabilize itself so that it can come in for landing. That space shuttle went into space 25 times. It flies upside down, so we'll fly it. <laughs> and it's flying around the, the Earth like this. And the reason why it flies upside down is for multiple reasons. It's because you always want direct communication back to the Earth. So if this is the Earth, it's flying around. You always want to maintain visual contact with the Earth and direct communication. The space shuttle is now on its 26th mission. We're going to take Endeavour and we're going to create an actual spacecraft shuttle stack. So we're going to mount Endeavour to the external tank, which is the orange one, and we're gonna have solid rocket boosters, two solid rocket boosters, just like how they would have on the launch pad when you see it launch from Kennedy Space Center in Florida. So we're gonna actually do that with our space shuttle now, and we're gonna do that for our future um, exhibition. The space shuttle was named by school children, just like me. So the big external tank, so this holds all of our liquid propellant, right? So liquid hydrogen, liquid oxygen. This is a big tank. This is it. This is going to be the actual tank that we're going to mount Endeavour to. So now we only need the white rocket boosters, right? So those are coming. We have those and they'll be here in a couple years. So we're ready to build. But before we build our stack and go vertical, we have to do some repairs. So I want to show you why we're doing repairs. You can see it over here. There's a lot of foam that's missing. This orange stuff on the outside is foam that kept the fuel inside really cold so it would work well with the space shuttle. Uh, so we have some sculptors like Natalie and Lacey's over in the container uh, and our painter Ann who are helping us put back the old foam and paint it the right color so it looks just like the shuttle did when it was on launch. Devin knows all about stars in space. You see, the, this is called the inner tank, and there's a rippled area of the inner tank, okay? And so the inner tank separates the, the oxygen tank from the hydrogen tank. Um, the chemical formula for water is H2O, right? So two parts hydrogen and one part oxygen, right? H2O. So that's why the hydrogen tank is so much bigger than the oxygen tank, right? So that's more hydrogen to oxygen. Now what happens here, this is the inner part of it. This is the cavity between the two, okay? So what they're doing is you see the rim the edge of the ring here? Yeah. You see how it's white and yellow color? Well, that's all the new foam that they're replacing. It was missing. So now we're adding all of this new foam to it and it'll get painted and you'll never be able to tell it was missing at all. Cool stuff, right? <laughs> so this is actually a piece of the foam. So you feel how it's, it's kind of jagged, it's kind of tough, but this is what protects the propellant when the tank was full of propellant, it would keep the propellant cold. When the space shuttle stack, when it launches from the launch pad, after about three and a half minutes, the solid rocket boosters fall off, okay? They get jettisoned off. They get, they get kicked off the spacecraft, and I'll give those to you. And they fall, they tumble all the way back down to the ocean. And then this 
tank and Endeavor would be the only two pieces to go all the way up into space. All the way. And that only takes about eight minutes. So less than 10 minutes later, then the big orange tank would fall away like that. And then the big orange tank that you see here, it would tumble back down into the upper atmosphere. And because it goes up so high into the atmosphere, it would just burn up. And so one big question we get is, why do we have the last remaining tank in existence that's ready for flight? Well, it's because this was the tank that was supposed to fly on the mission after the Columbia mission, thank you, after the Columbia mission that we lost Columbia. So Columbia is like Endeavor, it's another orbiter, but that one, it had an accident. And so when that happened, they used this tank, this was the next one in line to fly. They used this tank for the investigation. They wanted to find out what happened, what happened to Columbia. And so this was used to solve that mystery of what happened for that flight. And then it's been storage ever since. So it's a special tank with a special history. And now we have it here and it's gonna be part of our shuttle stack. At the end, Devin gave me a space shuttle and I gave her my butterfly. So Madison, it was really great to meet you on behalf of the entire California Science Center and myself. I just want to say thank you for highlighting the type of work that we do and thank you for taking an interest in our new project. I want to give you, this is a little take home present, so I'll give that to you so you can remember what we're trying to do here and what our mission, what our next steps in our project are. And I just want to say thank you and goodbye. And if you have any other questions ever, you come back and let us know, okay?